Hello and welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I am Stevie B. Happy to have you all with us today. Uh, today I am on Planet Arcadia. I wanted to go ahead and make a video about the 2021 Gold Rush event that's currently going on. We've still got a couple of weeks left, so some of you guys can get in on this. Um, real quick before I get running, let me be sure I've got my setup going right. And I am sorry I have not put out a video in some time, guys. Uh, I want to talk to you about that today as well. But first, let's get right into it. So first of all, I am on Planet Arcadia. So if you want to come to Arcadia for this event, you will need to go to the Akis Teleporter. I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, it's down here in the very bottom left-hand corner of the map. This orange dot right here, that's the PvP oil field area on Arcadia. Akis is right here. I'm roughly at 11... 138 longitude, 9726 latitude. Um, so the teleporter is going to be right over here. Okay, and then you've got the building with all the terminals in it. And then what you're going to want to do from the teleporter is you're going to want to head directly south. Now see this building over here? That's where we're going to go to get into the instance. But before we do, we're going to come over here to this little statue. You click on the statue, and he gives you the option to be in four different categories. Category 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, here's why I hate this event. I think this event's a screw-up from the get-go. Ah, yes, we have plenty of sip smacks uh, for all the haters out there. So, Category 1, you have to be 125 HP or less. Okay, so if you're a newer player or a free-to-play player, that's probably where you're going to be as Category 1. The problem is Categories 2, 3, and 4... There's really nothing that separates them out. Um, so from what I can tell you, just pick which one you want to be in. The only difference in the three categories is how much HP the mob has. But from where I'm sitting looking at the event, there's no HP limit on those three categories. There's no DPS limit on those three categories. So technically, all the biggest players in the game with the highest HP and the most DPS weapons could be in Category 2, and there's no rule against it. So if there's some rule that separates out Categories 2, 3, and 4... I haven't found it, which is why this is kind of a horrible event to be actually participating in if you're trying to win, because there's no point. Uh, if you've got the highest DPS weapons in the game and the highest HP in the game, you can just go into Category 2, and which is where I am, and uh, there's no difference. Uh, so how, why they decide to do that, I don't know, because I should not be in the same category as Messi, if that makes sense, or I should not be in the same category as Hijacker. But anyway, that's how it is. So that's why I decided early on not to actually compete in this. I'm just doing it to grind. Um, so you will notice that I do have a reload helmet on. I've got my Ares reload ring, and I'm going to eat some candy canes. But let's go straight into the instance, and I will show you guys why I'm doing what I'm doing. So we're going into the instance. Yes, I'm ready. It will teleport me to... The, okay. So this little box right here, I don't need that at all. That is useless. Um, that does nothing for me. So this is a two-hour instance. So in here we've got the terminals over here that look like statues, and then these over here in the corner, these four, are the exits. So the statues over there are the exits. So we run down the stairs. There's four sides to the building. They're all the same. And I'm going to go ahead and eat a candy cane. And we're going to start shooting. Okay. And let me turn some of the game volume down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so as you come and as you start shooting, obviously you've got two hours in the instance. Every kill is a certain number of points. Now it can be one point, it can be five points like that one. Um, the highest I've seen is 250 points. I don't know if there's a number beyond that. I don't know if it's like Mayhem where there's a possible for 1,000 or, or 2,500 or 5,000. But the whole idea behind the competition itself was they were going to take a 20-hour average. So whoever had the highest 20-hour average. So if you ran 20 hours exactly and got 20,000 points, then you would average 1,000 points an hour. If you ran 40 hours and got 39,900 points, you would average just under 1,000 points an hour, so the guy who ran 20 hours would actually win. Now, like I said, the biggest problem with this, from what I've seen, 
is there's nothing that stops Messi or some of the bigger names in the game. Uh, Bonnie's husband, JBK, he has some of the highest DPS weapons in the game. He could come just slaughter these things and rack up a huge score in Category 2, which is where I am, and there's nothing to stop him. Um, there's nothing to force him into Category 4. So it's like they only kind of halfway thought the event out, which is kind of weird to me. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, like I said, Category 1, um, the HP is a lot less. I think the HP is only like 150 or 200 HP per creature. Category 1, there is a limit. You can only have 125 HP or less. Um, so Category 1 may actually be worth checking out from a competition standpoint. The problem is... You're going to have to have a lot of high DPS weapons, which most people don't have. You're going to have to have a lot of good gear, which most people don't have. You're going to have to have a ton of reload speed, which most people don't have. So if it's really not worth doing as a competition, why am I in here? Well, if I hit I and show you guys my inventory, you might notice something. See those skill pills? That's right. Those skill pills drop from the creatures that are in here. So this is the only time I've ever seen in my entire career in Entropia, where you can actually loot skill pills. Now, there is a very large uh, loot mix from these mobs, that's for sure. As you can see, I've got some wools, some extractors, some components. I've, I've got a little bit of everything from these mobs so far. Um, but the biggest takeaway is that I do get skill pills every now and then, which is really, really cool. Um, so I'm doing it for the skill pills. That's part of it. The other thing is I'm always looking for markup. Uh, one of the things that does come in handy every now and then is arc coins. I'll go ahead and show you guys right here. Um, the markup has gone down drastically over the past couple of days because of the fact that they are dropping in such huge numbers in the instance it's down to like 101%. But these are very important on uh, Arcadia whenever it comes to like the smuggler missions. So some of the stuff that is only done on Arcadia, you need these arc coins for. And there's just less ways to get them than there used to be. But they do drop in the instance also. And a lot of the components and uh, a lot of the stuff that is dropping in the loot mix, it does have some pretty okay markup. I'm not going to say it's great, but it's, yeah. So it's worth doing for the skill pills because my thinking is whatever I'm getting out of the markup on the rest of the loot, that's great. The skill pills are really where my profit is. I'm really doing this to profit in skill pills more than anything. And there will be times that I will go on runs uh, doing vehicle repair or whatever on the Cronin, and I will just use skill pills left and right. A lot of the skills that I get doing those skill runs do have uh, real market value, so if I ever decide to chip them out, I'm going to be making a pretty good profit. So if I can just more or less break even on the instance and the skill pills are my profit, then I will be doing just fine because eventually those skill pills will get turned into skills with good demand, good value, good markup that I can sell later on should I ever decide to chip out. Now, one thing to keep in mind about this instance, guys, is as you'll see, it's kind of like Mayhem. I'm just shooting the same creatures over and over. But you see this little dome of looks like teeth sticking out over here? There's four of them. There's one on the north, one on the east, south, and the west. And it's directly across from the stairs uh, on each side. It's a four-sided building. All four sides look the same. And directly out from the stairs is this dome thing. So I haven't got down the exact timing, but roughly at about 10 minutes in, uh, it's actually more like 10 to 12, there will be a level 30 mob boss that will appear in that dome thing. And the, the pattern is always the same. It's always in the north one first, then in the west one, then in the south, and then I'm assuming the east. I haven't done the entire instance all the way through, uh, but I'm assuming the last one is in the east and the pattern starts over. Now remember, this is only a two-hour instance. So the first one appears right around the, the 11, 12-minute mark. Um, it's a two-hour instance. When I get down to about 148, 149 left, the first boss should appear in the north one for us. And then what's weird is it seems that the next one doesn't appear for like 20 minutes. Um, and then the one after that, another 20 minutes. So I don't know if the fourth one doesn't spawn for 30 minutes or 40 minutes. I'm not sure if it's a doubling effect or what. Um, both would make sense. It would make more sense for it to appear at 40 minutes. 40, 20, 20, 10. Uh, that puts you at roughly an hour and a half. Um, so... And then, obviously, you wouldn't have enough time to spawn a fifth one, so there wouldn't be time for the cycle to restart. 
Now, one thing that I've noticed about the boss mobs, um, they do tend to drop the, the skill pills a little bit more than the average mob does. It seems to be a little bit higher drop rate. I have gotten a lot of skill pills from the regular mobs, not just the boss mobs. Um, but it does seem that the boss mobs do tend to drop them at a higher rate. In fact, I think I'm running pretty close to a one-for-one -one ratio with boss mobs and skill pills at this point. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't have exact numbers, but I'm pretty sure. So, guys, if you're wanting to have a little bit of fun and you're on Arcadia or you're wanting to go check out Arcadia and you're wanting to get in on the Gold Rush, but you're not really concerned so much about competing, especially if you're a lower-level player, my advice is don't go after the big prize because especially if you're in categories 2, 3, and 4, I don't see any separation between the categories. So there's no real reason that the best players in the game with the best gear in the game and the highest DPS in the game can't be competing with us. Um, that's exactly what I would do if I was them. But if you're just wanting to check it out, the biggest thing is if you can take the markup from the rest of the loot that you get and you can use that to more or less break you even and you're left profiting nothing but skill pills, that's fine because those skill pills later on can be used to turn into skills at a higher rate than normal that can then be chipped out and sold later on in your career which is super 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 valuable um, also keep in mind that the more skills that you have the more valuable they are I think 10 ped TT of skills will take a brand new player from something like 0 points to 1800 points that same 10 ped TT of skills will take a player with 10,000 points to 10,007 points so you know the, the more you get the better it is right now we're coming up on the time where we should be about to spawn the boss so I'm gonna go ahead and keep the video rolling while I'm doing that I want to talk to you guys about a couple of other things real quick um, first of all I am sorry I have not been putting out videos as intended guys if I told you guys what I've been dealing with in the real world you wouldn't believe me um, just straight up I'll put it this way I just don't want to be here anymore just Honestly, if we're going to be brutally honest, I wish I could just go to bed and not wake up. It's that bad. Um, the things that I have done over the past couple of months to help somebody or to take care of somebody, if I told you what it was, you would be like, my God, this is like watching the, the world's worst Breaking Bad episode with the world's worst... Uh, Love at First Sight episode with the world's worst CSI Miami episode. Like, yeah, you couldn't write a script that describes my life right now. So, because of that, um, as if that wasn't all bad enough, the past three weeks have basically just been a pattern of me sleeping and praying every waking moment and then going back to bed and then <laughs> here I am. Um, I don't even like playing Entropy anymore. I don't like going to the gym anymore. I don't like anything anymore, to be quite honest. I spent the past four days 900 miles away at the ocean, and I didn't even go to the beach. I literally sat on the back patio and just looked at the water and just wished that I could drown the whole time. So to say it's been bad <laughs> is the mild understatement of the century. Um, I really wish I could just teleport to a different planet. But, that being said, if you don't get a response from me right away, or if you see a lack of videos, or whatever, that's why. Um, it's not because I don't care about you guys. It's not because I don't want to put out new content for you guys. However bad you think it is, I promise you it's worse. Um, so that is the first thing I wanted to get out there. Oh, and look there. Right about now, we get to spawn the boss. So, you will get that little warning that the boss spawns. Notice it did it right about... 10 minutes in so we're going to run back over here you can use your compass to figure out north east south and west remember it goes counterclockwise so it'll spawn north first then west then south then east um, i've never spawned the east one but i'm assuming because i've spawned the other three so it'll be right there in the middle it is a level 30 if you're in the category 2 instance so it's 18 levels higher than the uh, regular mob i don't know what it is in the the Category 1 instance because I've got over 125 HP. I can't get in. Um, everything I know about the Category 1 instance, I've pretty much pulled off the internet, um, which is why I know they do have a lot less HP. I think these have like the, the level 12s, I think, have like 1,000 or 1,200 HP. I think the ones in Category 1 have closer to like 150, 200 HP. 
So let's see what the boss actually loots, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a skill pill. And notice I'm wearing my ghost armor, and when he hits, he does hit hard. Uh, the damage types, guys, in here are Cut, Stab, Impact, 33, 33, 33. Um, the normal mob outside of the Gold Rush instance, I think the numbers are a little bit different, but it is the same. Uh, okay, no skill pill. That's kind of weird. But notice I did get some points out of it, so still worth it. Um, that's really weird because usually I get a skill pill whenever he spawns. So I think that might be like the third time that's happened, and I've spawned a ton of these so far. I've got skill pills just stacking up in my inventory. Um... Where was I? Oh yeah, so the normal uh, mag erg, mag erg, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Anyway, they do stab, impact, uh, crap, what's the other one I just said? The three I just said, the basic ones, stab, impact, I think pin. Um, that might be right. Anyway, normally it's not 33, 33, 33. Go back and look at what I just said. Also, you can Google it, it's on the wiki. Hey, 250 points and a skill pill, yay! Um, but usually they don't do 33, 33, 33. It's not an even one third. However, inside the Gold Rush instance, it is. And that information was pulled directly from the wiki. That is not something I have tested over and over and over so that I know, you know, 100% for sure. But that being said, uh, if you're going to be in category one, especially adjusted pixie armor, um, and then you might want to throw some plates on it, depending on your evade, uh, depending on your defense levels. It doesn't really matter which plate you go with as long as it's one of those three. Um, it's going to help. Now, the other two attacks you're still not going to be completely protected from. But, you know, that's what I would do is maybe throw some cut plates on or some pin plates or some impact if I just had them laying around. Would I go out and buy plates for this particular event? No. No, I would not. Um, the exception is the helmet because the helmet does have markup and because they are kind of hard to get at the moment. And because it does give reload speed, I do believe I have an impact plate on it. It might be a cut plate, I'm not sure. Um, but I did throw a plate on it just, you know, to help with the decay a little bit. So that being said, guys, moving on from that, that's pretty much all there is to know about the Gold Rush event itself. Um, the prizes are pretty cool, but like I said, the biggest problem is just the way the competition is set up. If you are competing in Category 1, more power to you. Um, I hope you guys do great. I threw some high tier category one stuff on auction the other day. Um, I haven't checked it since I've got back, but that's actually why I'm tearing this up. It's a LR25 because it'll be tier 10, so it'll be great for somebody in category one. So somebody's got to win it. Um, category one, though, having the 125 HP or less requirement, that really gives a lot of the new players a shot. The rest of us are just going to be gambling, hoping that the gods of the game aren't playing against us in Category 2, I guess, more or less. The only thing I really don't like about the scoring system is th there's no real way to tell how many hours you've been in here. I have no idea how many hours I've been playing. Um, I know my score, I know how much time's left in the instance, but I don't know my cumulative hour total, um, which is kind of a problem. Like I said, guys, those art coin, which are dropping, yes, the price is down on them at the moment. The price will go back up because they're needed for the smuggler missions, among other things, here on ARC. Um, you have to trade in a pretty ungodly amount of them in order to get all the smuggler gear if you're going to do the smuggler stuff. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing it is because they will have markup. I've just got to hold on to it till the market kind of evens out after Gold Rush because right now there's so much of them dropping that the price is just through the floor. Uh, guys, one more thing I want to talk about before I let you go. And then that will be it for today, and I'll be heading back to Cali here pretty quick. Uh, I've got a lot of earnped.com withdrawals to pay. I've also got a lot of RK zeros to give out. So guys, I want to really thank everybody who has been doing me a solid and helping with the RK zero competition. I am literally going back to Cali for the sole purpose of giving out RK zeros and paying earnped.com withdrawals. And I'm going to be giving out a crap load of those RK zeros. Um, if you've been filling out the form, you can pretty much bet you're getting an RK0. If you don't hear from me, hit me up in game. Send me a private message. Um, if you can't get a private message through for some reason, email sbraggs62, S-B-R-A-G-G-S 62 at gmail.com. Because I if you've been filling out that form religiously, I really want to help you guys out. Um, we're also going to be taking the RK0 competition to a new level or new direction. The base competition itself is going to be the same. All you got to do is go to Google, 
once a day, type in 181 close now, hit search, and then whenever the search results pop up, you just click on the 181closenow.com link, you go to the blog, go to any of the posts, uh, and then you fill out the form that's on there and just put RK0 as the property address and then hit submit and it emails it directly to me as your submission. So that is going to keep going. The RK0 competition, as of right now, I am planning to do more or less indefinitely. So the more submissions you get, the more RK0, the more submissions you do, the more RK0s you will be getting because I am going to be giving them out pretty much continuously. Now, I'm not saying you're going to get an RK0 every day for every submission you do, but I promise you guys, if you will keep the submissions coming, I will keep the RK0s rolling. I'm going to try and give out about 50 to 100 of them later today when I get back to uh, Calypso. If I need to make more, I can always make more. I think I've actually got like 200 or 300 in storage at the moment, and I can always just churn out more if need be. Um, that will help with your VSE, with getting stuck in the middle of nowhere, needing to repair your vehicle, whatever. So keep those coming. If you haven't been participating in the RK0 competition, get in on it now. Uh, get started now is the best information I can give you. I'm also taking it a step further. Guys, if you want to take the RK0 competition a step further and be able to earn better rewards, I'm talking Armatrix weapons, um, more RK0s, maybe even some PED, do me a favor, shoot me an email at sbrags62, that's S-B-R-A-G-G-S 62, at gmail.com. Here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for people who have been doing the RK0 competition literally, religiously, almost on a daily basis. I mean, several times a week without missing a beat. Um, I'm looking for people who will do it religiously moving forward and who can understand simple instructions. Essentially, I'm going to be taking the competition a step further. I only need about 10 or 15 people, which is why I'm just asking the people who do this religiously who want to take it a step further to email me. But what I will do is I will essentially be giving you the exact same thing as the RK0 uh, competition. I'll be giving you a list of specific things to search for and specific links to go to. And all you have to do is do that one time a day seven days a week. And if you can do that, there will be Arbitrix weapons in it for you. There will be some PED in it for you. There will be more RK0s in it for you. There will be some special stuff in it for you. So guys, obviously, keep doing the RK0 competition because I'm telling you, those submissions, as long as you keep them rolling in, I'm going to keep giving them out. And at this point, my plan is pretty much if anybody's filled the form out, you're going to get one. Um, that's why I'm saying give me some time to get back to Cali later today, and I'm just going to start handing them out in mass keep filling those forms out. Like I said, I can't promise you you're going to get an RK0 every single day, but if you will be religious about it to me, I will definitely be religious about handing them out to you guys. That is for sure. And if you're one of the people who wants to take it a step further and wouldn't mind doing it every single day, but also doesn't mind changing the search term every single day, do me a favor, shoot me an email at sbrags62, that's S-B-R-A-G-G-S 62, at gmail.com. Like I said, I only need about 10 or 15, but the more the merrier. Um, I just want to be sure it's people who are actively wanting to do this. Yes, there will be slightly better rewards than the RK0 because you're putting in slightly more effort than the RK0 competition requires. So if you're serious about it, shoot me an email. Like I said, I only want people that are super, super serious about it. They can handle it every single day. It takes maybe 15 seconds while you're waiting on Entropia to load up for you. So it's not that big of a dedication, but the people who are willing to help me out and really stand by me, I really appreciate because especially at this time in my life, it means more than you guys could ever imagine. So guys from earnped.com, I've been Stevie B. I'm here on Arcadia doing Gold Rush 2021. I hope to see you all out here farming some skill pills really soon. Let's just check. So in the time I've been making this video, it looks like we have gained another, looks like two skill pills. So two skill pills in roughly 20 minutes. That's one every 10 minutes. That's not bad. Um, they're not the 100% skill pills. They're 100% they're but they're for like one hour. This one is 100% for five hours. I haven't gotten a 10 hour yet. So I don't know if those are in the loot pool. But guys, come on to Arcadia. Even if you're not going to be competing, check it out. Because it is a rather fun competition just from a grinding standpoint. Just to get some cool stuff in the loot that you can't normally get. So guys, from everybody at Earn Ped, sip sip, smack smack, F the haters, and we'll be back with another video for you guys really soon. Take care, Stevies.